Hello everyone, this is Imran Khan and welcome you all in this video and today I am going to talk about tense. You know in my previous video I have talked about tense but in that video I have talked about only present tense. Today I am here with past tense. You know tense is an important part of English language. Without knowing the tense you won't be able to put your thoughts, ideas, feelings in sentence correctly. So first of all, you must know about tense very correctly. That's why I am here today. I will talk about only past tense. You know, past tense have been categorized into, into four parts. They are past simple, past continuous, past perfect, and also past perfect continuous. And I am going to show you about, without, uh, without memorizing the structure, how you will be able to put your ideas correctly in English language using tags. For this, I am going to show you, show you about the example method. This is an effective and also important method in acquiring tenses. If you look, the <clears throat> first one, that is past simple tense. In that tense, the work uh, have finished before. I mean, if I write down a sentence regarding this tense, I can write down I took tea. This is a sentence. In this sentence, you will find a subject, you will find a verb, and also you will find an object. In this sentence, into three words, there is a verb. The verb is took. Took is a past form of take. In this sentence, take is a verb, but I have used took in past form. If you want to make another sentence in this tense, you will say only past form of the verb, then you will be able to write, you will be able to think the past simple tense. I mean, wrote and also void. These are the verb of past form. If you put a subject before the verbs, I mean I wrote, and the, the two words will make a sentence in past tense. In this verb also, if you put another subject, and these will make a sentence. Basic things in this tense is using the verb of past tense or past form. I want to make a structure regarding uh, the example I have shown on the board that is I have written a subject and also I have written a verb in past form and also an object. These things are together make a structure of past simple tense and then the past continuous tense. In this tense, the work is going on in past sense. Continuous means verb plus I and D. I mean, I am going. Sorry, I was going. I was going. In this tense of continuous, Continuous tense may be present continuous, past continuous, also future continuous. But in every continuous tense, you will find the verb with ing. Now, a look at the structure. Regarding this sentence, I have written subject and I have used was as auxiliary verb and also were and verb plus ing and extension. If you want to say another example regarding this tense, you can say taking, also writing. Taking means I am, uh, I was taking tea. Writing means I was writing uh, later. This is the things you can use, you can, you can use to make the structure of past continuous tense and then past perfect tense. Past perfect tense is similar, past simple tense. 
y in first perfect tense you can use verb in past participle form in every perfect tense of the tenses i mean present perfect past perfect and also future perfect tense you must use the verb in past participle form because if I want to remain the example from previous tense, I can write I had gone. Look at the sentence and what thing I have written that is subject, had, auxiliary verb of this tense and verb in past participle form. And if you want to make the structure regarding this sentence I have written, you can say subject had and verb three and also object. This is the structure of past perfect tense. In past perfect tense, if uh, you want to make in other, in other examples using the verb took, wrote, and also white. If you want to make the sentences, make the examples using the verbs I have written on the board, took will be taken in this sentence, uh, in this tense, went will be gone in this tense. I mean, I had taken and I had gone, if you want to make the sentence in this tense. And the final one is past perfect continuous tense. In this tense, a work is going on for a, for a definite time in past. In past. Here, perfect and continuous. There is a combination of continuous and perfect. In continuous, you need to use verb plus ing. In perfect, you need to use verb 3. Two tense have combined to make this tense, first perfect continuous tense. In this tense, I want to show you an example using the verb talk. I had been taking tea and also I must mention a time. I had been taking tea for two hours. I had been taking tea for 30 minutes. I had been taking tea for five minutes. And in this sentence, you have found I as a subject and had been, had is an auxiliary verb of this tense, why been is here? The reason is, if you want to make some examples, sentence using the tense, you must put had plus been, because had been together used as auxiliary verb in this tense. And taking, I have shown earlier in my video, Continuous. In continuous form, you need to <coughs> put ing with the verb taking. And t is object. And there you can put a time. I had been taking t for 5 minutes, for 30 minutes. All these are tense about past. And I want to summarize through this lesson. In past tense, you need to use verb in past form. In past continuous tense, you need to use ing with the verb, and before the verb, you must use was and were as auxiliary verb. In the past perfect tense, you need to use gone. Actually, in this sentence, I have written gone, but you can use another verb, but in past participle form. The structure will be subject, had, and verb plus ing. A part past participle and another object. In past perfect continuous tense, you must use had been auxiliary verb of this tense and you need to put ing at the end of the verb which you are going to use in your sentence. The structure will be subject, had been, verb plus ing and also an object. Besides object, you must use, you must mention time. In that time, your work is going on. 